We'll be using the model-based design workflow. Let's quickly go through the different steps. First, we start with the requirements of the grid tight solar inverter. Then we go to desktop simulation, where we have an electrical model of our grid tight inverter, our solar panels, and the grid. We'll be designing a controller within this environment. Our ultimate goal will be to design to, to connect our controller to the hardware prototype. So as a first step, we can generate code from the controller to a SpeedGo target machine for rapid controller prototyping. SpeedGo target machines are expressly designed for tuning, testing, and deploying controllers directly from Simulink. We can easily adjust parameters to automatic PID tuning and data logging. Afterwards, we can generate optimized code to a microcontroller. And before connecting to the actual hardware, we can use hardware in the loop testing with a, and with a speed code target machine to thoroughly test the firmware and the interfaces of this controller. Once all tests pass, we can connect to our actual hardware prototype. The steps we'll be carrying out today consist of um, plant modeling of the grid, inverter, and solar panel, then the control design, including grid synchronization, MPPT, current controller, and fault right through. Then we'll be generating code to the Texas Instruments C2000 microcontroller and from the plant to, the, to a performance real-time target machine from Speedcode. And then we'll do hardware in the loop testing. We start by creating a model of the electrical circuit. We'll be using a solar array with over 600 panels connected via DC link to a grid tight invert inverter with a harmonic filter. And uh, this inverter will be connected to the grid via relay and the grid, con grid will include a transmission line. So if we go to the desktop simulation, we're using a a component from Seascape where we can choose from commercial solar panels or introduce the characteristics ourselves. Then on the inverter, it has a harmonic filter and within the two-level three-phase inverter, we'll be using both average and switch function. The switch, func switch function will be using it for hardware in the loop testing in order to include the PWM effects. That's, well, that's the way we'll have the switching dynamics. Currently, we have not designed a controller, so we have disabled it and we'll be running the simulation. In the simulation, we'll just be measuring the voltage from the grid that is at 60 Hz.